I'm out in the land of suburbia. That can only mean one thing. Palin's here. If you guys haven't kept up with Palin, he's been building his own YouTube channel and following and all that stuff. So his channel's up there. Make sure to subscribe to him. But today, we're working on the SQ5, not the BMW. If you didn't know, Pound has a turbo E36 BMW. I still gotta uh, work more on it. I haven't had any content. We used to film a lot on this, then he started his own channel, and then we both became adults, and now we don't film as much. Yeah. Anyway, today, uh, we are working on the SQ5, and we're gonna get rid of, oh, you can't even see it, that guy right there, for a smaller one from our friends at Integrated Engineering, part number IEBAVJ1B, love it. It's a uh, smaller supercharger pulley, this spins the supercharger faster, make more power, uh, and we have a reflash to go with it. And we get to try out the crackle tune today. Oh, that's right. I'm so, excited for that actually. Uh, I never, I had the crackle tune on my S4 when we, right after we put the stock pipes yeah. on it, they came out with it. But today we're going to single pulley, which means we have uh, a race gas file, all that good stuff, and then yeah, we also have a crackle tune file. <laughs> You're prepared. I'm ready. So uh, we've made this video before, but we'll make it again. So, in order to install a supercharger pulley, you need a supercharger pulley removal tool. The last time we used this, we uh, took this stock pulley off of my S4, RIP. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to pull the front end, pull the front bumper, all that good stuff, and uh, get rolling. Nicely packaged and everything. Now, uh, I know Integrated had an issue with these being back-ordered for a little bit. Um, that is because the demand for their like software and, and company in general has increased very much incrementally over the past year or so. Wow, I can't get this open. <laughs> uh, and so I know a couple people ran into issues with them having inventory, etc. Um, I would highly recommend after you order your pulley, just go ahead and contact them directly. They're really cool guys. Their customer service is awesome. Um, and they will make sure that uh, you have no issues. Hey, welcome back to the Ignition Tube Cooking Show. Today we are cooking this uh, supercharger pulley that's gonna go in the oven at about 400 degrees, and we're gonna turn this into a nice, crispy, delicious meal. So I'm gonna hand it off to Assistant Chef Palin over here. Uh, Palin, what are we doing uh, for cook settings today? In our beautiful, clean, uh, uh, modern, Toaster oven. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of complicated functions, but we're gonna keep it simple today. We're gonna just throw this as a nice toasty 400 degrees, let it sit for a little bit, and let the magic shine. Uh, so we wanna cook this pulley for about an hour. You don't need to flip it. It will cook evenly through. Uh, you just toss it in there on the grate. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this on, stay on. Oh, there is a spider on it. That's okay, this is, this is very clean and obviously in use. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and close that up. This is set on stay on 400 degrees bake uh, while we undo the car and the actually if we get scientific for a second the point of this is to expand the pulley so when you slide it on uh, it slides right on you hold it for about 30 seconds it cools down and uh, gives you a bigger hole. Lots of steps have been made. Uh, we undid this bolt up here, this bolt up here. Ow, I just, I don't even know what this thing is, but I just need it, that hurt. Anyway, uh, there are three bolts that hold this whole kind of front end unit together. There's two on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, I replaced the bottom one with a much longer bolt. If you can see that back there. That guy, I replaced the bottom one with a much longer bolt, or rather Palin did, uh, so we can pull the whole front end out and it'll still support its weight. We won't have to support the whole front end's weight just with our hands, and that should allow us to start to get here, and I get the pulley removal tool in there, loosen the belt, etc. Well, we can't find a tutorial online, so we're figuring it out as we go. We thought we had to undo these two 10 mils, then we realized there was a bolt on the front. But we still have to disconnect the washer fluid hose the clip thing. This is so weird. <laughs> Don't undo the 10 mils there, just do the torque spit on the front. Make it happen, one step at a time. There's not much uh, literature on this. All right, so if you're doing this, what we undid to get here is one bolt here, the Torx, it's a T30. We undid, obviously, the bumper and stuff. There's one bolt on the bottom, tucked under there, you see a long arm connecting, that's a T32. Yeah, there's another one on the other side. Then we undid top, bottom, Unclip the washer hose lines. Wow, I'm not even focusing on what I'm filming. 
unclipped the washer hose lines, undid the headlight bolt up here, undid the one down in the back too, way tucked down there, and then we lifted and pulled. Yeah, so you want to just kind of get a good grip under here. And, and pull. allows you to kind of shimmy it. Yeah. This. All right, so Pound has a 16 down in there on the tensioner, which is all the way at the bottom. Um, you can use a wrench for this too. And hopefully, if Pound doesn't kill me, I should be able to... You have a lot of trust there in me not yeah, losing a finger here. All right, go ahead, go back. <laughs> and that's all we should need. We'll put that back when we obviously get the smaller pulley on there. So the way that this works, this is actually, uh, actually this is an OEM pulley, so we could do that, whatever. Um, what we're gonna do on the car, is clamp these guys around the back of the pulley so it actually holds tight to it. You clamp this on the front and because the supercharger kind of shaft goes right through here, you're going to, uh, we're gonna hold it with one, what is this? A half inch. Half inch. Yeah. There we go, math. Uh, one half inch here. The other one we're gonna wrench down on this and this is actually gonna end up forcing the pulley when this goes in, forcing the pulley off. Um, so it may be a little bit of a challenge to kind of fit everything in there. Uh, we'll have to probably pull uh, a little bit, but we should be able to screw this in, hold that, and ultimately pull the pulley off. One thing I like about the integrated engineering stuff, it says OE pulley on here, and they actually do supply a set for removing your aftermarket pulley as well. So if you wanted to go back to the stock pulley for some reason, um, they give you a set to pull the aftermarket pulley, put the stock one back on. All right, this is our very professional method of making sure we have enough force. Pound. Yeah, so basically, we can't get an impact in there clearly because there's not enough room to get to the bolt. So what we Unless did, we pulled the whole front end off, which would be a lot more work. Yeah, but basically we just took an adjustable uh, wrench, put it on the bolt. I'm, doing this. I'm just waiting for it to hit me in the face. Yeah, me too. Or pound. Oh, pound there we go. It's almost done. Too. Yeah, we're, we're about we're like getting there. there. This has been this. like 10 minutes so yeah. far. <laughs> so Just patience. Welcome to YouTube where we'll be done in the next shot, but it will be a while for us. Okay, yeah. what's going on here? All right, last turn here. Uh, which it got much easier. I'm pounds holding oh, there it. There you go. And now we gotta pull this out. And one super, oh, it almost fell. One supercharger pulley later. There's a stock pulley off. Time to put the fun one on. So I'm taking a can of canned air. If you've ever done this in school, and if you saw the S4 video, we did the same thing. When you spray it upside down, it actually blows out whatever fluid is in here, which is cold. I don't know if it's CO2 or whatever, but it comes out really cold, like frosty. So we're gonna go ahead and cool the supercharger shaft, which is hot. I'm not sure how much it's actually gonna do, but we did it last time and it worked. And then Pound is gonna take from the oven, the supercharger pulley with the gloves as fast as he can, come over here, slide the pulley on because it's heated up. And the hope is that with the cooling and the heating, it should slide right on. We'll hold it for like 30 seconds. And then we just put the belt back on it, call it a day. Seems dramatic. Oh, I blew the straw off. I don't know where <laughs> the straw fine, went. I will let you know. Tito. You may have wanted to do that with two gloves, but is it on? Oh, Where's that going on? Heat it up again for another half hour then. Can it come off? Yeah, that was a fail. We're gonna heat the pulley up a little hotter, which may mess with the finish of the pulley, but that's okay. Whatever, it's just the finish of the pulley. Um, and while we do that, I'm gonna flash the car. All right, like four tries later, Four tries later here, we finally got the pulley on. Pound's holding it on. So the key is, you want you want just a little bit of lube, just to kind of, you know. Oh yeah, we sprayed WD on it this time and it, it yeah. made it slide on. And it's... And we used two cans of can there. And you have to wear two gloves, because the, the thing, the reason why I think we got caught was because every time you don't really line up straight, the edge catches on the inside and then And you it doesn't just, go on. Then and you're then just fighting it. Cools it cools down really and it fast. Cools much too much, yeah. yeah and then, I'll say this first, I am personally am not a big fan of the Crackle Tunes and with the Integrated Engineering non-res downpipes partnered with the AWE Touring Catback, uh, it actually kind of popped on its own as you heard in my non-res downpipe install video. Um, so the Crackle Tune isn't necessarily something that you need, but 
I do understand that a lot of people are interested in it and it's a kind of a hot thing in the car scene right now. So I figured I'd put it on the car for this video um, so that you guys could learn what it sounds like. And if you don't like what it sounds like, guess what? They have a 93 octane file that doesn't require crackles at all or it doesn't even contain crackles, I should say. So uh, you have the option between lots of crackles or no crackles. Either one that suits your preference, you're more than welcome to go with. How does the tune feel? Uh, I went stage one to single pulley to dual pulley on my S4, and I didn't feel like there was that much of a difference between stage one and single pulley. On this car, definitely a big difference. I'm not really sure why I feel like there's much more of a difference here, but it feels like the car pulls much harder to redline, uh, and really where you feel it is the mid-range torque. When you romp on it from like 3,500 or four grand, you really feel it, and getting off the line too when you launch the car, which I've only done once and I need to get you guys an updated zero to 60. You may have to stay tuned to my Instagram, it's at IgnitionTubeYT for that. What we can do in traffic is put the window down and hear the crackles. So uh, the crackles kick in pretty much every time you let off the gas above like 2,500 RPMs. Obviously the higher up in the rev range you are, you can kind of hear them now. If I down to the third. And they vary from like little pop pops to like big old bang bangs. Yeah, someone's gonna clip that. Yeah, this thing rips. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it doesn't feel slow anymore. Stage one still felt kind of slow. This really gives you that oomph from the uh, from the throttle. And I mean, like this is 2,800 RPMs. That's fourth gear. They are kind of a laugh. As much as I hate on crackle tunes, as much as they're kind of obnoxious, it is pretty funny to roll past everybody down to second. Maybe we'll get it off the bushes here. Those are a couple good ones at the end there. It's a laugh. It's it's definitely not for everybody, and it's probably not for me. I'm gonna take it off after this video and only run it occasionally. But of course, we don't get the good ones when we go into the tunnel. Let me. Uh... Who's honking at me? Someone is just honking like nobody's business. I guess the main question that I've had people ask is can you do this on the stock cats? Well, I have the stock cats right now um, and I think you need to understand kind of the catalytic converter situation on this car before you go and do the crackles. Uh, there is a chance that doing the crackles is gonna wear out your cats faster and likely will wear out your cats faster than if you aren't running the crackle tune. I will, uh, I'll leave you guys with that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to Integrated for sending out the pulley. I'll put the product link at the top of the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. If the crackles end, you tap your foot on the gas, and come right back. Alright, bye guys.